My name is Jasko Fifus and I'm um, here at the Exposed Film Festival with my film Internal Body Shots. Um, I hope you enjoy. It's about um, um, yeah, the perception of the internal body um, that is most of the time contrary to the uh, outside appearance of people's bodies. And of course it's also about race and um, gender and um, yeah, it's 13 minutes of an experimental documentary that you should see. We're here at the Exposed Film Festival in the Movimiento Cinema in Berlin. And I'm sitting here with Jasko. Jasko, your movie Internal Body Shots is part of a bigger project, of the Fucking Different project, and it has already been screened. Can you tell us a bit about the project and about the reaction of the audience? Um, the project um, started 10 years ago as a series of um, um, DIY films that were um, produced and funded by Christian Peters and it was about gay um, filmmakers doing a lesbian porn and the other way around. And for the last edition he decided to open it up for a trans perspective and um, ask trans um, and transgender filmmakers to um, do a short film about um, what they think is the other, what's, what they think is alien to them, to their sexuality. And um, yeah, I was asked to do a short film and I did um, internal body shots um, where I was just asking four of my friends that I had been talking about um, body issues and body politics a lot and I thought they should actually meet because they never met before. and. Um, I wanted them to have a naked conversation uh, about um, yeah, body issues, politics, trans um, transitions uh, and so on and um, yeah, this is how I ended up with my short film. Yeah. Why did you want them to be naked? Um, because it, um, as the title um, says, it's uh, internal body shots means um, it's about the um, the difference between your internal body or how you um, experience um, your body or maybe some said they don't even have an internal body so, because it's like a fluid thing that can change um, and the outside because people only see your outside appearance and they put you into boxes uh, quickly and um, this is not necessarily how you actually feel or how you um, feel about your body, mm -hmm. yeah, and of course, um, I wanted to, them to talk about the internal, uh, like the the inner experience of their body, but also see their bodies and make them visible. Um, mm -hmm. That's why they're naked. So, in a way, also breaking the manifestation of the physical uh, of the physical body by uh, yes, deconstructing exactly. it. Yes, and it's uh, you find it in the, the like the form of the film. Um, I think does that is like is deconstructing this, uh, um, and or is supporting um, it, and you have them naked, and also um, not all the time. Also, they uh, because it's of course an experience to be naked in front of the camera, and uh, some of them never did such a thing before, and they didn't know each other, so um, it was a process and. I would say it's a, an experimental documentary. Mm -hmm. But it is a documentary, so they mm -hmm. are not playing someone no. else, but they're no, talking no, no. about their own experiences. Yes. Okay. And, well, you said already that they were friends of yours. Did you just go to them and say, hey, I'm shooting a movie, do you want to be naked in front of the camera? And they said, um, yes, yeah, sure. Um, actually, yes. I mean, um, I worked with Hans uh, many times before. We uh, we did a film together um, because he's uh, also a scriptwriter, not only a performer. Um, and um, yeah, John, I went to school with him, so we did many projects too. And uh, Grete, I knew before, so it it was um, a natural thing. And they actually all said yes immediately. Um, mm. I think it's about. Um, um, trusting someone that they will do something nice out of it in the end and not exploit the bodies and I think yeah I'm mm -hmm. not doing that well yeah I have the or I had the feeling when I watched the movie that it was very close to the people but at the same time it was not 
intimidating them. It still kept a certain respect for the bodies. I mean, they were also shown in positions that were quite artistic. I mean, it was not just them talking, but also those artistic shots. Why did you decide to put those in there too? Why did you not just make them talk naked? Um, because you need a, like a, a layer of um, abstraction, I think, because I, I was not planning to um, exploit their bodies or have like pornographic moments or like even eroticize them because this is not what the film is about. So I needed just like a dramaturgic thing or like um, idea to like how to um, have, like m make sure there's a distance, um, not only between me and them uh, at the shooting, but also between the audience and so th this is why I'm taking this step out on the roof and have them um, only be like a living still life actually. And, yeah. Mm. And I have the feeling that it's also about expectations, expectations about people and expectations referring to their bodies. Um, you see that in the way they talk about their gender, but also, for example, about racism. Um, mm -hmm. Racism referring to, for example, being not white, as someone says in the movie. Um, yeah. Yeah, Coco is um, uh, talking a lot about his experience experience being um, the only not white body among white bodies um, almost um, all his life, I think. Um, and that's a certain experience because you, of course, um, people are reading you in a certain kind of way and they might think you're tough, but you're not. Um, so it's like, I, d I actually think this happens to all of us, but um, if you um, happen to not have um, certain privileges like being white and cisgendered and you might um, never be, um, have the, the um, yeah, you will probably never think about it or reflect about it yourself. This is why we are asking it ourselves more than other people, I think. Mm. And yeah, he's just sharing his experience and I think it's uh, true. So the, so the movie is also thought to broaden the perspective of the audience in a way? Um, yes, I think it's... So, like you were asking um, what were people's reactions on the film and um, I think the strongest reactions uh, I got were not necessarily from the queer community but from people outside of the queer spectrum. like because it's not that the film is teaching something but um, and maybe it's not from my perspective it's not new ideas that they are talking about or um, but um, you just got to know like each of them a little bit and it's more about the individual and not not about issues like transitioning or um, gender that's not the not the focus I think it's the yeah there's four characters that are really lovely persons. Um, the movie is screening here at the Queer Film Festival. What do you expect from these screenings? What do you expect from the audience at these screenings? Well, I hope it's uh, going to be out in the world um, more um, uh, because um, I like to do more films and uh, travel uh, with this film, which I did a little bit at least. Um, yeah, and I'm happy to um, have it screened in Berlin in, in like a nice um, short film program. And of course, it's an experimental queer film festival, and um, this is um, pretty rare. Um, and there's not so many opportunities where films like this will be screened. And um, yeah, so like the Porn Film Festival is the unique thing and um, you see a lot of um, progressive work from filmmakers that would never fit into mainstream cinema or um, like the whole the whole um, capitalistic um, film world. Mm -hmm. um, well I wish you a lot of fun at the festival and I thank you very much for this interview. You're welcome.